Angels are saying, you will be a multi-millionaire in the next three years. Your cup is about to run over with blessings you didn't see coming. You're walking into one of the best weeks of your life. Get ready for it. The win is coming. Don't let the when worry you. I declare that doors of opportunity will be opened, debts will be wiped clean, bills will be paid in full, and your finances will change. God is saying to you, I'm going to repay you for the years the enemy has stolen, years you spent lonely, years you spent being mistreated. You're going to have plenty of joy, plenty of peace, plenty of resources, and plenty of opportunities. God is going to cause the right people to recognize you. He's going to open doors you couldn't open. You're going to rise higher, accomplish more than you thought possible, and reach the fullness of your destiny. There will come a time when your tears will fall, not because of problems, but because God has answered your prayers. Type Amen to claim it. Love is awful. It's awful. It's painful. It's frightening. It makes you doubt yourself, judge yourself, distance yourself from the other people in your life. It makes you selfish. It makes you creepy. Makes you obsessed with your hair. Makes you cruel. Makes you say and do things you never thought you would do. It's all any of us want, and it's hell when we get there. So no wonder it's something we don't want to do on our own. You know this situation when you are still a young girl and planning your future like having a relationship by 14, still in love by 18, married by 22 and having kids by 25. And now, just in this moment, you are sitting on your couch, sipping coffee and smiling a bit about yourself and this naive little girl you were. But your smile has this kind of bitterness and your coffee tastes like disappointment because you already passed these ages and still don't know what it feels like to be loved by someone. I was told love is amazing and beautiful, seeing the world in all kinds of bright shining colors. Yes, I do. But I also see and love in black and white and a lot of gray. Because when you realize this so-called love comes just from you, you are just someone he knows. And the most painful thing is him watching another girl with these special eyes. When they laugh together. When they are happy without you. Yes, love might be amazing. But also amazingly cruel and dark. And this hurts. This hurts a lot. Broke is not a dollar amount. It's a lack of ambition and vision. A lack of hunger for more. I have good news for you. You're going to get back more than you lost. This chapter is called Make Room. Raise your children to be impressed by kindness, loyalty, and humility, not just wealth, possessions, and power. God knows when to send you exactly what you need. God is on your side. I am a magnet for positive energy, attracting success, health, and happiness. The quickest way to succeed is to start now and figure it out as you go. You can't learn to drive in a parked car. Here I am, totally hopeless in love with you for years now. Always by your side but with this kind of distance between us. You never looked at me the kind of way I looked at you. And you never asked me if we wanted to hang out together and even ignored my questions. You always kept this kind of distance, but at the same time, barely never left my side. And this little thing held my hopes high. High to that we could become a thing, you know. And on the other side, I always knew that this would never happen. But here I am, still blind and hopefully lost for you, boy. Do not waste time thinking about what you could have done differently. Keep your eyes on the road ahead and do it differently now. If they miss you, they'll call. If they want you, they'll say it. If they care, they'll show it. And if not, they aren't worth your time. Being strong doesn't mean you fight every battle. 
True strength is being mature enough to walk away from the nonsense with your head held high. Anything you lose when you stand up for yourself, protect your boundaries and begin to grow, was not meant to stay. The universe will always restore and reward a pure heart. Stay humble and kind forever. Observe their actions but never absorb their energy. Maintain yours. Keep your mind open and your soul faithful. You will always find your way on the path of honesty. No matter how challenging the journey gets, remind your spirit of its successful track record. You're always winning. A new season is upon you. Get ready to see your garden grow. To become a magnet for everything that's aligned with your soul, you gotta see yourself as worthy of it all. The key is to never associate your worth to the outcome of something. Don't give in to the fear-based conditioning of reward and punishment. The moment you give yourself the validation you always deserved instead of seeking it from those who don't even see their own worth, instantly there's a shift in your vibration. The person who waits for the outcome to feel worthy will forever be controlled by the outside influence, but the one who knows they are worthy already becomes the master of their lives. Your high vibrational energy attracts everything that's in alignment with you. You no longer have to chase as you become magnetic. You're about to experience a whole new reality. You're now entering the space where your best self exists. The version of you that's going to manifest all of your dreams lives in this realm. Let your spirit lean into the shift that's undeniably happening. Focus on spreading your light further around you, and the road you're looking for will be easier to see. It's your time to shine. Don't hold anything back. Don't let the fear of not being the best at something stop you from moving forward. Best doesn't always mean most successful. You know who is successful? Someone who begins. Someone who is willing to take one step at a time and learn along the way. Someone who practices consistency over perfection. Someone who writes down their goals and follows up with aligned action. Someone who is willing to try, even if that means stumbling and picking themselves up a few times along the way. Most people will never be the absolute best at anything. Rather than trying to be the best, be the one who shows up. Be the one who is willing to learn from your experiences. Be the one who doesn't quit when faced with adversity. Be the one willing to believe in your strength over your fears. Be the one willing to trust your inner wisdom to guide you, even if it doesn't make sense to anyone else. Pour endless grace and compassion into yourself as you figure it out. That's how you succeed. Not by being the very best today, but by being willing to step forward, even when you can't see the entire path ahead of you. By taking one step at a time, one breath at a time, and knowing deep inside, you already have what it takes. It's not your clothes or the way you style your hair. It's not your weight or body type. It's not the shape of your nose or the color of your eyes. No, that's not why they fall in love with you. They fall in love with your heart, your energy, with the way you make them see the world in a way they never have before. They fall in love with your irrepressible spirit and the kindness you radiate out into the universe. They fall in love with your bravery, how you keep putting yourself out there, even when it's scary, how you don't hide in the shadows of life, but walk fully in the light. And if there is no light, you're willing to share yours. You give it away freely without ever asking for anything in return. Can't you see? It's who you are at your core, that mind that always looks for the good, that heart that keeps beating through the joy and the pain. It's the way you make them feel. That's what they love. That's what's sacred. It's the beauty that radiates from within your true essence, the magic that you don't even know you carry. It's you, exactly as you are. 
You are worth loving. You are worth cherishing. You are worth everything. The universe will give you exactly what you need at the exact time you need it. Do you know that you light up every room you walk in? Do you know how good you make people feel? Do you know that your smile is like pure sunlight? That your laugh vibrates straight into a person's bones and becomes the best part of their day? Do you have any idea how radiant you are? How do you shine? How do you glow? Do you know how much someone out there looks forward to the moment when they get to see you when they get to experience just a little bit of your light? You love fiercely. You give openly. You do so much for so many without ever asking for anything in return. And I know. I know you hide your pain so effortlessly. That you pour your energy into making other people feel good so they'll never have to feel the way you felt. So they'll never feel so alone. And I hope you know, you are a gift. An unmatched, irreplaceable gift. You are so incredibly important. And the parts of you that you don't think are worthy of receiving love, your shadows, your darkness, your pain, they are. God, they are. Every part of you is equally worthy, your darkness and your light. All of you have value. All of you is enough. All of you are beautiful. Having someone who can't help but smile as soon as they see you. Compliments from strangers. Holding a newborn baby for the first time. Getting a new outfit you look good in. Phone calls with your grandparents. Hugs that linger. Learning a new word. Being with someone you don't have to hide your weird side from. Playing pillow fights with your siblings. A new album being released by your favorite artists. Little kids. Gifted poetry books. Making an effort even when you don't have the motivation. Eating without counting calories. Trying out new recipes. Finding a new book to obsess about. The smell of fresh flowers. Your favorite song playing on the radio. Sharing an inside joke with your best friend and both of you thinking that it's hilarious. Seeing your friends happy. Having me time and not feeling guilty about it. The way we think of the moon smiling at us. The way we smile back. If you look back, you'll see that every situation that God has brought you into has either changed you, helped you grow, made you stronger, taught you a lesson, or made you a better person. Everything he does has a purpose. Say this to yourself daily, financially. I'm going to win. Professionally, I'm going to win. Mentally, I'm going to win. Emotionally, I'm going to win. Physically, I'm going to win. In life, I'm going to win. Type 222 to claim it. When you are ready to put your heart into this world again, do not look for the same kind of love you have experienced. Resist the urge to compare the human beings that come into your life to the ones that have left. Because the truth is, two loves will never be the same. Love is like a fingerprint, curated between two individual souls. And within that, it is always its own rare and beautiful thing, an extension of who you both were within those moments in time. In moving on, in dealing with the breaking and the rebuilding of your heart, you grow. You become a different person, and in turn the love you need, the love that will nourish you and inspire you and meet you where you are now that grows as well. That changes. When you are not feeling good enough, remember that even at your best, you will not be good enough for someone who does not have the capacity or the will to love you. You deserve to fall in love with someone who cares for you in the softest way. Someone who drives you and believes in you and is always in your corner. Not just when it is easy, but when it is hard. You deserve to be that person for yourself as well. You deserve to be surrounded by people who grow your mind, 
people who make you better because they push you to be better. You deserve the kind of confidence that makes you believe that anything is possible, the kind that empowers your voice and your ideas and your capacity to seek out the things that you desire. You deserve moments of pure and intense happiness, the kind that make you feel your heart beating against your chest, the kind that dizzy you and make you realize that everything will be okay, that you will be okay. You deserve to be chosen. You deserve to be loved the way you love others. At the end of the day, you deserve to be inspired by your life. Everything you want for your life requires you to walk with self-doubt by your side. The ability to walk through our fears is not signaled by an absence of doubt, but an ability to walk forward regardless of its presence. When we acknowledge that self-doubt will accompany each stage of our evolution, we can make peace with its presence. In fact, it is a sure sign that you are expanding into new spaces. Life is meant to be lived. You have to chase the things that ignite you. You have to do the things that bring you joy. You have to surround yourself with the people who bring you back home to yourself, with the people who respect you and embrace you in ways that make you feel like you are worthy and accepted and loved. You have to do the work to heal yourself, even when it hurts, especially when it hurts so that you do not continue to approach your life within the boundary of what is heavy within you. You have to put yourself out there, and you can not worry about what other people think. You cannot rob yourself of experience or happiness or inspiration because you are scared of how you will be perceived. You have to be unapologetic in the way that you exist here. You have to believe that your ideas and your hope and your being deserve to take up space. You have to believe that you have purpose because our existence is finite. And as hard as that is to understand, as hard as that can be to connect with, from time to time remind yourself that in the most human way on borrowed time. There is a reason why we are called human beings and not human doings. What we do absolutely matters so much, but remember, what we be absolutely feeds what, when, why, and how we do what we do, and is at the foundation of it all. Your being matters so much. I hope you are well. If it doesn't come bursting out of you in spite of everything, don't do it. If you feel like you've been chosen for what you're doing and where you're going, move diligently. If you feel like you're settling, pause, reflect, and move differently. Ask yourself, do you feel like you've been chosen for what you're doing, or does it feel like you're settling for it? Chosen feels like alignment. Settling feels like force. It is okay to take your time. We live in a generation that romanticizes moving forward as quickly as possible when it comes to careers and our futures and our success within them. But there is no point in rushing quickly towards a life that will not inspire you or fulfill you. It is okay to slow down. It is okay to take the time you need. You are in no rush to figure out your own soul. It's never too late to start over. It's never too late to change your mind. It's never too late to redirect yourself, to replace the dreams you thought you wanted for the ones that genuinely excite and challenge you. So keep going, because the world needs your uniqueness. It needs your talent, your art, your mind. The world needs you to take up space within that, so you can change it with the vision that you have. You are so deeply capable of doing something beautiful with your life. Don't let roadblocks or self-doubt or the way your journey is unfolding convince you otherwise. Leap towards all that scares and ignites you. Just try for something while you're here. Believe so hard that it feels like you already have it. People will not remember the details of what your face looks like, yet you worry the most about that. 
They do remember your smile, the look in your eyes while they were talking to you, the way you made them feel, how gentle you were, the comfort your words gave them, and the understanding you were willing to offer, how you went out of your way to make them happy, your kindness, your compassion, and your respectfulness. The most beautiful of faces may have the ugliest of hearts, and if that's what you're looking for, that's what you will get. But if you have a beautiful heart, your beauty will shine on people's hearts. Whether they see it or not depends on what they're looking for. In a society that has taught us to favor being cool over being connected, promise yourself that you will always choose to be the person who cares. To be the person who does not desensitize themselves to be the person who slams their heart into the people who X, cite it without hesitation, without worrying if it is too much or too intense or too loud. Trust me when I say that, you will never scare off the souls that will fully understand you and nurture you and celebrate you by being open to this world, by being honest, by being the kind of person who loves deeply do not water yourself down. Do not silence the parts of yourself that leap towards the beauty you see in another human being. Be all that you are. Be all that you are. And my God, I hope you wake up one morning to someone who loves you like you're a sunflower and they're desperate to keep you alive. I hope you dance with them in the small space of your kitchen floor, messy hair and tired eyes, because you both have been up all night watching movies again. I hope you laugh with them in a way you never did with anyone else, head tilted back and lips apart as you let out every sound your laugh can possibly make, and I hope to God you don't try to cover your mouth. And if you do, because that's okay, I know I sometimes do. I hope they stop you. I hope they grab your hand before it ever comes in contact with your lips, and I hope they hold it to their chest as they watch you with kind, loving eyes. Because everyone knows you deserve it. And I hope you find someone who'll accept you. I hope they accept your messy hair in the early morning of the day. And I hope they accept the way you sometimes talk too much and can't seem to stop when you're nervous or how you still cry yourself to sleep on some nights. I hope they hold you and kiss you in the places where you're most insecure and I hope to God you let them. I hope you find someone who makes you happy even when you feel like sometimes life is too hard for you. And I hope that when you both come across a tough situation and it comes down to a choice where you are one of them. Subscribe our YouTube channel for more videos like these. Donate us super thanks to support our videos. Type Amen to affirm.